Hi and welcome to Average Consumers Reviews. Today we're going to talk about Netflix original anime series Dragon's Dogma. This video contains a ton of spoilers, so make sure you watch the show on Netflix before continuing with this video. Dragon's Dogma is based on a 2012 video game. I never played the video game and my review is based on watching the show only. Dragon's Dogma basically talks about Ethan, a guy who lost his wife and unborn child to a dragon who attacked his whole village. Ethan witnessed the dragon killing his wife and in anger he tried to kill the dragon. Ethan obviously fails, but the dragon is surprised by his bravery and it decides to eat his heart, which turns Ethan into something called an horizon. At first, the series shows that it's going to follow the journey of Ethan and his pawn, Hannah, and their mission to kill the dragon. But after each episode, we realize that the human race are the ones who sin, and even if Ethan and Hannah save the people from the monsters in every episode, they still have other people that are greedy and selfish and will easily kill their loved ones for money or power. What I liked about this anime is that it has 7 episodes. Each episode is about one of the 7 deadly sins. And how each one of these sins will get you killed. Although technically no one died from wrath, which is the first episode. Neither the dragon nor Ethan, not in the first episode at least. But in all other episodes, the sinner dies one way or another. And although the monsters are scary, this series really wants to show you that humans are the real monsters. And we are reminded by this point in every episode by Hannah, who does not have any emotional attachments but rather logical thinking only. She always calculates what's best for the situation without being blinded by any humanly desires. And Hannah's character, although is there to help protect the horizon, does a great job of reminding us that humans are stupid and emotional creatures. Personally, my favorite episode is Greed. It definitely had a twist that I was not expecting, but it really shows you how you can't trust anyone in these situations. Plus, the intro of this episode is probably one of the best scenes in any anime series that I've ever seen. My least favorite episode is Envy. I felt like there was going to be something more in that episode that portrays real Envy. But it was not a bad episode nonetheless. Reaching the final episode, I understood that Ethan is the one that will die from pride. And we start seeing Ethan's character changing. With each mission they do, he starts being less and less able to control his anger and emotions. And Hannah had to snap him out of it multiple times. But at the same time, all his focus was on killing the dragon. He was blinded by this desire to kill, and he was willing to do everything in his power for that purpose. Ethan reaches the dragon and tries to kill it. While fighting, Ethan tries to understand from the dragon the reason for killing all these innocent people. The dragon explains that this is just a natural part of being a dragon, and it's as simple and thoughtless as breathing for humans. So it cannot be considered a bad thing. While humans can choose to be good or bad, yet they still kill each other for food or money. Ethan is still not convinced and ends up killing the dragon. While dying, the dragon tells Ethan that the Arazan's destiny is to kill the dragon, which basically means that it chose Ethan for his bravery specifically because the dragon wanted to die. And when the Arazan kills the dragon, they become the next dragon. The next part wasn't specifically said in the show, but I think the only person that can kill a dragon is an Arisen, meaning the dragon will always die and come back from the Arisen that killed it. Back to the first episode's name, Wrath, we can say that the dragon's wrath is what killed it. The series definitely turned out a lot better than I was expecting. The story, although sad, it's great and we can learn a lot from it. On the first episode, I couldn't help but be reminded of Attack on Titan. The monster that no one saw for years, the drunk guards, the village being completely destroyed, and the main character promising revenge for the death of their family. But it's definitely not a bad thing, and it's still one of the best Netflix anime series I've ever seen. If you enjoyed this review, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.